Aquarius, hello. Welcome to your January 2023 reading. Already we made it. Um, <laughs> happy birthday to some of you. I'm having the biggest reading sale I've ever had. I, I do private readings and um, just look at my social media for details, uh, Instagram or my YouTube community page. And please take advantage of it. It's my way to say thank you and give back. And also it does end January 6th. So we have the Ace of Wands. Leave it to Aquarius. You're just kicking off the year with a bang. <laughs> Literally. It's so good. Um, Ace of Wands is a brand new, beautiful journey that is incredibly fiery, creative, passionate. It's being on fire for your big, bad, beautiful life. Now, this is reading is for all of January. Some of you might get this on January 31st. <laughs> Some of you might feel it already on January 1st. I'm getting that a lot of you will feel it when Aquarius season kicks in, which I think is January 20th, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere in there. So, um, the words on this card are inception, spark, growth, Potential germination. Interesting word. I think you're going to be planting seeds in January. You're going to be planting seeds that are going to come to fruition throughout the year, if not your entire lifetime. Not to be too ooh, big time woo woo, but that is what I'm saying. Your next card, I couldn't love this one anymore. I'm sorry, but we're going through some major astrological cycles in Aquarius right now with the big planets in the sky and ten of wands. It's been it's been a lot for Aquarians. Can can I get an amen? I am an Aquarius as well. <clears throat> this is the end <laughs> of a stressful your this reading is bananas. Wait till you see the next card. The end of a stressful, strifey journey. Um, but that's been a burden. Now the thing on the Ten of Wands is the end is here, but you don't quite feel it yet. So in the month of January, and this involves for some of you, I see the number 10 and the month of October. This for some of you involves whatever bad, bad was going on in October. <clears throat> That's wrapping right up in January. But here's the deal. You know what I always love to say about this? It's the, the, the hard burdensome journey is over, but you don't feel it yet, or you won't acknowledge it, or you aren't, you know, recognizing it. I always like to say, drop the wands, drop the wands. Don't keep picking the, these little drop, drop the wands on the ground. And then don't keep picking one up and going, Oh, let me worry about money some more. Let's pick another one up and be like, Oh, let's worry about love some more. Let's pick another one up and say, you know, whatever it is, that's your thing. Drop the wands, leave them on the ground. This is your time. This is an incredible spread because your third card is, stop it right now, the Fool card. <laughs> this is the card of Uranus, which is the modern day ruler of Aquarius. So this is you in January, all the way in your full blown max, highest vibrational Aquarian energy, where you're also, look, I can't even talk, where you're also on fire for your big, bad, beautiful life as a result right? And sandwich in between these guys, again, like I don't like it, is drop the, drop the burden. Drop the burden. You know, if you kick someone to the curb because they're drama and they text you, hey friend, don't do it. What are you doing? Or the 2 a.m. text from, you know, Mr. Wrong, are you up? <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Let's be the dogs lie, right? Um, I'm looking for a higher message here. So what I think here, guys, is you're really wrapping up. So you really wrapped up some karmic messages, um, some karmic life lessons in 2022. And it's time for higher, higher level lessons, higher levels of those same lessons, that that's a thing, or it's time for new lessons uh, in 2023. And I think by the end of January, that's going to be super evident to you. And I super love it. If you're feeling foolish or like, what am I thinking? I can't do this. Whatever it is, the fool doesn't care. The fool just walks right off the cliff. The fool's like, ah, yeah, well, I'm sure there's a net down there somewhere. Why wouldn't there be? You know, make, make like the fool. Make like the fool. The words on this card are venture, 
pure faith, you know, clear, innocent. The fool is very, you know, the innocence of a child. So I've gone on long enough. Uh, I have more to say, but that's, <laughs> that's I got to wrap this up. Um, please come back in the mid-month for my health readings and uh, do subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon if you'd like uh, to be up on what I'm doing because um, now that I'm wrapping up my book and I have a little more time, if I do have more time, I'll make more videos um, than just my typical two sets. Okay, thank you so much. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.